Hello, welcome to this video. Let's see D5 Render, one of the best and free 3D rendering and animation software for Windows designed for architects, artists, and designers worldwide. With this, you get professional results thanks to its high quality and ultra-fast ray tracing rendering based on Microsoft DXR and NVIDIA RTX technologies. It is also very easy to use with respect to Unreal Engine and Lumion, helping you with 3D design in the shortest time possible. It is indeed a great alternative to Lumion, Corona, and especially V-Ray. Get the download link to D5 Render from the video description. This is completely free for 90% of its features without any single watermark. You can also download the LiveSync converters to connect E5 with your favorite CAD BIM software, including SketchUp, Revit, 3ds Max, Blender, ArchiCAD, Cinema 4D, and Rhino. The interface is really user-friendly, showing a big central preview and several panels on both sides of the screen. The preview is indeed live, animating trees, clouds, and water. From the top right corner, you set the navigation tools, selecting Orbit for architectural projects, and Fly to get the perspective of a video gamer, moving around with the ASWD keys, the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and the right click to change the camera direction. On camera, you can set its options including exposure, lens, and kind of perspective. On display, set how to see your preview, including its quality. Once the preview is OK, set the environment with the right panel. Choose Geo and Sky to set sun and clouds on your own with the maximum level of customization, or switch to HDRI to use a high-definition horizon adjusting light intensity, rotation, and temperature. At the bottom, use weather to add some fog, some wind to shake dynamic objects, or even rain and snow. With nights and interior, you may add artificial lights with the lights tool above. Select point lights to add light spreading to any direction, or spotlight to add light with a specific direction. With the inspector panel on the right, adjust all the lights properties such as intensity, angle, radius, temperature, and even a standard IES description template to start from. You can also select strip and rectangular lights, very useful when you need lights on a specific area. Thanks to the new D5GI in D5 2.4, lighting is always sufficient now, so you do not need to set up lights manually for interiors anymore. To add your own models, go to Import in the top left corner. To include more objects, you can open the extensive D5 Assets Library. This comes with more than 9K models showing trees, characters, animals, vehicles, interiors, or entire buildings. Some of these may require a pro license, but the free library is enough for commercial uses. Some models are static, others are dynamic, moving with wind or animations we're going to see. You can also switch to local to get your own local assets, which can be models, objects and items that you collect by selecting these and going to local from the inspector. These can also be divided in custom categories on the left. Click on any object to download it and click on the preview to drop it using the escape key to finish. You can click on it to select it and edit it through its gizmo system, showing all the three axes. This allows you to move the object freely or move and rotate it around one axis. You can quickly use the B key to shift to a scale gizmo and edit its dimensions instead. As you edit your scene, use Ctrl and Z to undo any action. D5 Render keeps your progress saved thanks to the Auto Save set from the Preference settings. As you select any object, the Inspector panel shows other options in order to duplicate it, flip it, zoom the camera on it, and much more depending on the kind of asset. D5 Render supports the PBR, Physically Based Rendering, material system and offers more than 2,000 materials inside the D5 library. This PBR pipeline simulates any kind of physical material to really improve your 3D models and rendering, so it is widely used in gaming, TV, and film industries. Pick the material you like and drop it on any asset surface using the Escape key to apply. On the right, you can customize any material property while checking the preview. You can also click on any icon to import your own map 
or choose another material template from the list above. For example, choose Transparent for Glass or Water for Watery Surfaces. From the Tools button on top, you can drop vegetation in several manners. Choose Brush to select the right models and spread them on the preview while clicking and dragging. You can enable the eraser to refine or remove your brushes. Set Radius, Density, and Size to scatter the selected models. All these brushes are saved as records within your basic model under the Inspector panel. You can manage these and especially compare these to get the best result on your preview. Objects, Lights, and Foliage are all collected under the Object panel on the left. Here you can select any object, lock it to prevent modifications, or hide it if you do not need it on the preview. You can hold down the control key to select multiple objects to move, scale and rotate these together. You can also use Control and G to group these objects and treat them as a unique one or even save the group to local. D5 Render supports layers to manage large groups of objects so you can separate models from the environment or the same D5 assets from your custom models imported. D5 Render includes animated particles and paths to make your rendering even more realistic. From the Assets Library, or the fourth button on top, you can pick fireworks, fires, smokes, birds, and much more. You can also enable the Path tool above to add characters, vehicles, and animals that move by following your path specified on the preview. Going to Done on the right to apply. Make sure to use dynamic models for this. You can also adjust the path density and width, especially if you animate multiple models at once. For vehicle paths, you can also set the lanes, driving direction, random paint color, left or right hand drive, and lights on or off. D5 Render has also loads of tools to improve your project appearance before exporting it without the need of Photoshop or DaVinci Resolve. From the Effect panel, apply great LUT filters or adjust exposure, contrast, lighting, white balance, and much more. On the left side, you can save your current state in the Scene list. This stores your current camera position, lights, and post-processing options in order to retrieve these anytime. If the scene is correct, export it as an image or a video from the top right corner. You can export the current preview as a picture or a panoramic 360-degree image, setting aspect ratio, size up to 16K, format and proper channel maps to export from the entire list used. Choose video to export with amazing animations. Set the camera position and direction on the preview and save all as a shot below. You can adjust the interval between each shot and movement options with easy ease. In the bottom right corner, choose the video resolution up to 4K and export as an MP4 or AVI file format. With this same timeline, you can also animate objects. If you select any object, you can click on Add Keyframe on the right to save its position, rotation, and size values in the current instant of time, set by a blue rhombus. You can move the marker in another instant of time and edit the object properties to add another keyframe. This way, you get the object animated by following the option saved with the different keyframes while the camera moves. This is all you can do with the free D5 Render. This also comes with more than 200 entire and free scenes you can start from. Just visit the official forum link you find in the video description below. And thank you very much for watching this video. Visit our YouTube channel and our website to learn more on free tools you can use to make your 3D projects outstanding.